The Riot interviews. It is The Riot on Radio U. Nikki, I feel, I of course, I feel like we start every Andrew interview this way, but... But what? It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's been a while since we've gotten a chance to talk to Andrew from Project 86. They're brand I new. think Andrew just shut the door. <laughs> it sounds like it. I feel like we, it's the intro to the Thriller song or something. True, something like that. But Andrew from Prod 86, because today is contest day, so you have a chance to win. I think we're walking now. I think we are. Andrew, Andrew are, are you, you there? Walking? Back to the there door to is. shut it again. There it is. <laughs> I was like, I think I hear him doing that. That's amazing. Well, how are you doing? Good morning. Uh, <laughs> good morning. A long, yeah, long time no talkie, as usual. Yeah, so, you know, uh, just catch us up. What have you been doing for the last year? Don't tell me. don't have to do day by day. Don't tell me about the band. Tell me about the man. What has Andrew been doing? You want, like, a quarterly report or something? Yeah, bring me up to speed. (laughs) Uh, I do, in my spare time, I do a lot of graphic design. Yeah, okay. So I, that's, I'm, that's the whole of it. Okay. So it's either project stuff or graphic design. It seems to take up everything. That's pretty much. Okay. And I have, I have a family as well. So they, they bear with me in all my creative endeavors. All right. Well, then can I just cut straight to the chase? Are you playing any video games anymore? Is or that have you, all you wanted have you, to know? Have you grown up and you've <laughs> left it all behind? Is he too busy working? I'm actually... I'm actually starting over because my daughter is really into like Mario and all things Mario. And I've gotten her into like classic Nintendo games. So okay. we play Punch Out together. Nice. We play both Mario's, we play Zelda. So I've started completely over in my video game journey. And hopefully the next 10 to 15 years will involve, you know, going through all the old gaming systems with my daughter until we get to the present, which will be like 2025. Because you were more of, a, <laughs> of an Xbox guy. Like, Nintendo wasn't necessarily your thing? When I was a kid, like every other kid mm-hmm. my age, Nintendo was it. Like, that was everything. Um, but more recently, yeah. Okay. More of an Xbox guy. So, Andrew right now is teaching a video game class that he expects to last about 12 more years. So... <laughs> Should be good. I see that. Have you now? Did you say? But have you done any of the new Mario Odyssey? No, no, no. We're only doing Classics. like old Mario, ah, like, like gotcha. OG, Dude. OG, and a little bit of Wii, but only Wii because I downloaded classic games onto the Wii. Okay. All right. And like I said, Andrew's teaching class, mm-hmm. and eventually, you know, he's going to slowly time shift and catch up with everybody. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so, dude, right now you are buried, I imagine, in all sorts of getting ready for Sheep Among Wolves, Because right? that is out today. Yeah, today's, today's the day. Today's finally the day. But yeah, pretty exciting day, and I can't really catch my breath to appreciate it because, <laughs> yeah, like you just said, I'm neck deep in everything as far as interviews and fulfilling our pledge campaign and uh we did all these amazing um sort of interactive experiences with fans as well and one of those was songwriting sessions that we do over you know facebook chat or skype or whatever medium is available um for the person who ordered it and so i have a bunch of those in the next couple of days um just getting together a ton of content and Um, pre-order packages on our website and it's also Christmas season so we've updated our Christmas record that grows every year so it's a very P86 Christmas this year it has 10 tracks total Um, not a brand new Christmas song but we did include a a song that wasn't heard much from our Nice to the Future special edition a few Mm -hmm. years ago and there's a song that I wrote about uh, having a snow day uh, at school. <laughs> it works, basically. right? That works totally. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's track 10. And so uh, we're making uh, the Christmas music available along with the new album and along with a lot of other really cool items. If you visit us at project86.com, you can get some really good deals on music and merch um, because our record just came out. So we discounted everything and put it into huge bundles and a lot of different options. So, project86.com. That's my shameless plug for the for the new record. <laughs> that's out. not a bad thing. And, 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 it's, and Andrew is so yeah. hands on with especially all the fulfillment of the pledge incentives and stuff. That it's nice to see. You know, bands sometimes do it on a timely kind of timely manner. Yeah. But with Project for all your past ones too, it seems like you really uh, take it to heart to make sure to get all those fulfilled as fast as possible. 
You know, this is our third uh, crowdfunding endeavor. Play Music's a little bit different, and each campaign we've tried to make unique in and of itself. Uh, and this time around, we released the music as we made it. And so we tried to go the extra mile because I know that that's been a lot of fans' experiences. Mm-hmm. If you give a band a bunch of money, and then you got to wait 50 years to get your stuff, or maybe it doesn't come. Uh, and, and that was a big reason why we're doing all the fulfillment ourselves this time around as well. So uh, our pledge campaign is still actually active. You get a, an EP of five songs for free, uh, autographed material, and 100 chapters worth of history and updates and all kinds of cool stuff. If you still want to be a part of that as well, it's become just uh, a way to, another way to get the record, basically. So we're talking to Andrew Schwab, Project 86. Andrew, two quick questions for you. Um, one of those is you were mentioning songwriting sessions. That kind of piqued my curiosity there. When you said that people were able to, you know, as they were giving, get a songwriting session, does this mean that they're getting audio or a video of the band doing a songwriting session? Or they learn are, how to. are you going to spend time with them writing a song? Is that how that works? We spend time with them writing a song. Okay, that's awesome. So we did... We did two different versions of it. So as a part of our fall tour, if folks were in, you know, the areas of the cities that we were playing, you could do an in-person songwriting session. They just come to the show early and come backstage. And then, you know, we work on writing a song together and it really is dictated by the person who wants the song. So if they come with lyrics and want music, we'll just work on music together. Or if they want to start from scratch, we can start from scratch. And we're really just limited by the amount of time that we have to work. So, uh, Right now, obviously, we're doing more online. So if you want to write a song with me or with us, uh, you can go on our pledge campaign, and that's still available. Um, cool. Andrew's the best at and... plugging that. Yeah, he's doing a good he job. The best he's keeping that. it out in front of you. Like very this, casual, very if, calm. <laughs> if I would say it feels like Andrew's had media training, that's how good he is at remembering <laughs> his details. All the details, that's it's right. Good. It's that'd good. Be, that'd be, I guess, a cute um, gift for someone if you write a that's song a, for I them. I actually that'd think that's really amazing. Nice. Yeah. That is amazing. <laughs> You guys are, I can't figure out if you're blowing my cover no. or enhancing my ability to plug it. Actually, both. You do very well with that. You'd have it, no idea. Yeah, I mean, most of the time we beg bands like, hey, hey, hey. Do you know your the, details? Do you know the name of your album? And they're like, no, but I saw the show on Netflix that I loved. <laughs> and so you're doing great with the details. Yeah. Very good. Want to hear more? Check out riot.radiou.com.